The iron law of life is that everything has unintended consequences because we can't see the future. Every action is an equal and opposite reaction. So from the unintended consequences file, here's this. Tonight we're learning that mask mandates might constitute a risk to air travel. An air traffic controller sent this email to journalist Eric Berenson, Alex Berenson. Quote, managers are making sure we're wearing masks while speaking directly to pilots. It has created an issue because they can't hear us clearly. Worst case scenario, again, this is from an air traffic controller, is a pilot thinks something we say reads it back wrong and it results in disaster. Alex Berenson is an investigative journalist. We're happy to have him on tonight. Alex, thank, thank you for this. Where did this, where did you get this? Where did this come from, this warning? Uh, well, it came in, for, I, have a, I have a Proton mail account, Alex Berenson, author at Proton, which is pretty secure. And no, no email is 100% secure, but it's pretty secure. And uh, people will regularly contact me, uh, you know, with, with it could be this, it could be a couple weeks ago, a doctor at a, at a major Midwestern, uh, you know, academic center said to me, I ran some numbers on, you know, post-vaccination visits to the emergency department and you should see that. And so, of course, the first thing I do when I get something like this is I say, hey, can you prove to me you're real? Uh, yeah. I don't want to get catfished. I don't want to put out information that's not true. And so, and people are actually quite willing, uh, to my surprise, they're generally quite willing to send either a work ID or even a driver's license. Uh, and so, and so this, this gentleman did send proof that he was who he said. And, and usually you can tell anyway, the email is going to be written right, a certain I way agree. when it's somebody who's real, they're going to have knowledge. But he, but he did that. And so I put it out this morning. Now he didn't say, he didn't even say, hey, we've had a near miss. He just said, right. this is a real risk. And I think people should be aware of it. And it's pure mask theater. There's absolutely no reason that I should have to be wearing my mask you know, as I'm speaking to a pilot. And I thought that was a really good point. And, you know, several thousand people have retweeted that. And, you know, now I'm talking to you about it. And hopefully someone at the FAA will pay a little attention to this. Yeah, let's not pretend that there's no downside. There's a downside to everything. And I have to ask you, this is an amazing story, and it honestly baffles me. CDC issues new guidance today for people who've been fully vaccinated against coronavirus. This seems like very weird guidance. What do you make of it? It, it, well, it is weird. He, here's the problem, okay? It's increasingly clear that the vaccines aren't quite as effective as that 95% headline figure was given. So the honest thing to do would be to say, look, the vaccines aren't 95% effective. They're not going to be the miracle that ends this tomorrow or in a week or a month. We're still going to have to live with this on some level. But, you know, once you're vaccinated, things do look better for you. You can drop a lot of the nonsense that you know we've been we've been telling you you need to do for the last year and you can go out and you can hang out with people but i think the cdc is very afraid that there will be cases of people getting vaccinated and sick or dying as has as has happened in israel we know that's happened in israel um yes. and so i think that they're trying to cover their rear ends here with guidance that's totally unrealistic essentially yes well lying begets lying i mean they should just be honest and we would trust them but, if they were um, Alex Berenson, I appreciate your coming on tonight. Thank you. I hope we see you soon. Th thanks for having me. Thanks, Thank Doug. you.